We're Kels, and Jay, and after spending eight months to convert a school bus into our very own tiny home on wheels and traveling all around America for the past year, we're ready to downsize and take on van life. <laughs> With an ambitious goal of completing our van build in just 30 days, we have absolutely no time to waste. So close. Join us today as we take on building a slide out bike rack <gasps> and our bed frame. We started day five by cleaning up the van, carefully driving it out of the tight driveway, good. and going to Home Depot. Ready for Home Depot? Ready! Trip number like five already? Sometimes I wonder if Jay forgets stuff on purpose so that we have to go back to Home Depot because he loves it so much. All right, so our whole entire build is based around our two bikes that we will be bringing with us because Jay got me to turn crazy and I signed up for Half an Iron Man too. So now I'm gonna be training. He's gonna be training. We have matching bikes everywhere. Yeah. So we're gonna build the bike rack. That'll give us the height of the bed. Kind of what I did with the bus build as well. I built the bed first and worked my way forward. So once the bed is in, that's like a starting block to build everything. Out. We're gonna cut some wood, glue sure. some wood, Screw some wood. Do some wood. Can I just show you these draw slides as well? Look at these things. Pretty hefty. So these are four foot heavy duty locking draw slides. Look. Can you even get this in frame? No. It's so big. I'm six foot five. Jesus. So these will be the base of our bike tray. All right, let's build this. Enough bike talking. <laughs> Bike rack is complete, tray, shelf, drawer. We're gonna put the bike site for the first time, so it works. Woo! Perfect! That's really good. Did it. So you flick up on these two latches, pull it out, and it's so light, I can do it with like two fingers. Pull it all the way out, then you can undo these fork mounts for the bike, and then the bikes just lift off. And then when you want to put it back in, same process, flick up the latches, slide it in, and it locks in place. So when you're driving, it isn't going anywhere. And then we've got space here for like helmets. I might just put the bike tool kit here. Also the tires, right? Oh yeah, we've got to think of somewhere to put the tires. It's crazy, like in a van, you have to think of every little nook and cranny of where to put everything. It's so like on the bus, we just throw the tires wherever. Honestly, that's what takes all the time, is just thinking. I end up just standing around for hours, like thinking, how does this make the best sense? Because you just don't have the space to be able to freely do what you want. You have to make it work to the dimensions you give it. But that is the end of day five. Very productive. So now tomorrow, we can frame out the bed. Now we know the Ooh. height of the bike. Maybe we'll have a sleepover. Maybe. See you for day six. Morning from Van Life. Day six. Day six, start in the bed frame. So for the bed frame, got these aluminium inch by inch square tubing. Follow me over here. Basically got the two side panels. I'm gonna notch in an inch by inch groove so the aluminium square tubing can sit in there and span the width of the bed. I did this because the inch is like the shallowest bed frame I could think of to give us as much space below the bed and above the bed so that the bed will only be an inch thick plus the three quarter inch of plywood on top so it'll be an inch three quarters. And if you're like me and you're more of a visual learner and didn't really understand what Jay was just saying, I'm gonna show you. Power tool. Time to frag jig. Frag jig? Frag jig. Such a weird word. Basically, make holes in these little pieces.
guys may not know, Jay was actually in construction before we started traveling in the bus. He used to build houses from the ground up with two other or three other colleagues. So yeah, he's very knowledgeable with construction. I'm a very pre-beginner even. No, I think I'm a beginner now. I think I'm, I'm a student. So I'm learning with you guys as we do this. And yeah, I'm an apprentice. And um, yeah, we're gonna try to go into detail to explain things to you. We don't want it to be too boring though, so just let us know like, if you have any questions in the comments or anything like that. Maybe we'll add some extra info for our patrons who are more interested in the building side of things. All right, let's get back into it. Something that would have taken Jay only 20 minutes took me three hours, but that's okay. Everyone moves at their own pace and that pace might be especially slow when you're still learning. So here's just a quick reminder that if you're starting a build or in the process and feel like it's taking longer than you thought, don't get discouraged. As long as you keep moving and learning, you'll get there. I promise. I'm gonna have snack time while Jay puts in the first box. First little storage unit for the van. No, no storage. What is it then? It's like extra space. So rather than going from here to here, straight down, you would lose all this space. And for us lanky folks, wanna do a swap. Every inch matters. <laughs> so he's building it in this way. I do apologize. You can hear me chewing in the background. Woo! Do you want me to help you, baby? You just sit there and eat lunch. <laughs> Voila, we have a box. Should we see if the bed fits before the battery dies? Sorry. Go on. Jay takes construction very seriously. 